Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. In today's show, we are gonna install Google Analytics on our WordPress website. It's an absolute walk in the park. So you know Google Analytics, it's the tracking code that you can get from Google that if you put in your website, it can tell you where your site visitors are coming from, how many of them were there, what browser they were using, desktop, laptop, etc. This isn't a Google Analytics tutorial, this is a how to get Google Analytics onto your WordPress website tutorial. And there is only one real way to do this and that of course is with a plugin. There are a ton of Google Analytics plugins on the WordPress repo. All of them do pretty much a brilliant job, but there's one that I like in particular because it's got a really cool feature whereby it actually gives you a little mini Google Analytics dashboard inside of your WordPress admin dashboard. Super cool. Anyways, let's get down with the tutorial. Google Analytics into WordPress in three minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a Google Analytics account. And then to get one of those, you need a Google account. So sign into your Google account and then get yourself to this URL. All of that is in the description. And you will see a page like this. Click the sign up and then you'll be asked to add some information about your account. And we're going to call it Jackson. And our website is going to be WP Jackson and the URL is WP Jackson.com. Um, we're going to select our industry category and we're going to choose our time zone. We are here in Blighty in the United Kingdom. That's it. We click the get tracking ID. We're asked to obviously uh, do the usual accept the terms of service etc and that's it you've now got a google analytics account now that's all you have to do here for the time being so next job is get the plugin installed if we head to the wordpress admin and go to plugins add new and we're just going to go grab the name of the plugin that is the most recommended and we'll just paste that into the keyword search and there it is first on the list we'll click install now and activate the plugin and once it's activated we will see a new menu in the admin sidebar and that is called google analytics click that and you are ready to set up your plugin authorization so if you click the button authorize plugin the next screen will ask you for an access code now very conveniently we have a little link here to click to take us to a Google setup page that will ask us, do we want to allow our website to connect with a Google dashboard? Just click allow and you will get a code. Just copy that code. Go back to your general settings of your Google Analytics, paste that into the access code, save the access code, and that's it. Really, that is, you are done. You now have Google Analytics on your website and the live data will be transmitted back to Google Analytics here and will turn up in here once the traffic starts coming through. But the bonus for this particular plugin is that if we go back to the dashboard, we will see that we now have a little mini version of the Google Analytics reporting graphs in our uh, on our front page dashboard, which is pretty cool. And that's it, it really is, really is as simple as that. You now have Google Analytics on your website and you're done. So Google Analytics dashboard for WP, a mighty fine analytics plugin, but what's your favorite things when it comes to Google Analytics? Have you got any tips, tricks, or strategies you'd like to share with the channel? Get them in the comments below. And if you like what you've seen, please do go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you later.